Do you want a nugget of truth to start out your day? If so, you have come to the right place. Here we give you a devotional power boost to the beginning of your day and pray that God will bless you as he sees you on your way. Welcome and so glad you have joined us for yet another daily devotional on Frame with a Mission. I am reading from Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Today we are going to be studying, Is it proper to leave an inheritance to unconverted children who might squander it? Our Bible verse today is from Proverbs 20 verses 21. An inheritance gained honestly at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. Two facts must be considered when addressing this issue. Love for God, loyalty to His cause, and unconditional love for your children. It is important to communicate love to all our children. If the last act of a parent's life is to cut out a son or daughter's from the will, an adult child might be forever turned from accepting the Lord. This leaves a bitter scar that is almost impossible for children to forget. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children. Proverbs 13 verses 22. The other dynamic is that we must give an account to God for how we distribute our assets at the time of our deaths. To leave considerable wealth to unconverted children is, for practical purposes, placing God's resources in the devil's hands. He who leaves sons or daughters more than me is not worthy of me. Matthew 10 verses 37. The answer, it seems, is balance. You naturally want to leave enough for your children and grandchildren to communicate your love and thoughtfulness or provide for specific needs such as education, such as property and family heirlooms, can also con convey this. Before King David died, he told his son Solomon he arranged to leave the bulk of his estate to build up God's house. Indeed, I have taken much trouble to prepare for the house of the Lord 100,000 talents of gold and 1 million talents of silver and bronze and iron beyond measure, for it is so abundant. First Chronicles 22 verses 14. You can be sure that David left a generous inheritance for Solomon and his children, but there is no doubt that the majority of his properties went to build up the house of God. This is an excellent example for Christian parents today. Parents set a lasting example and a powerful impression when their children see that they choose to seek first God's kingdom with their estate planning. If you have enjoyed this devotional, then please look around and find the like button and give it a friendly tap on the shoulder. Put a comment down there and tell me which part of this devotional was your favorite, which part you got out a good nugget that you can take throughout the day, um, and just consider subscribing because the more the merrier and you know God's family is not a small family so if you would love to join us in this adventure of praying with a mission check out what we have below there are many other options and see you around